Hello clients, patients and colleagues. Welcome to Audiologic. Today I want to discuss the hearing aid market with you and the choices that are on offer for new clients or for those looking to upgrade their hearing aids. Now we are all familiar with the phrase, you get what you pay for, but what does that mean for a hearing aid client? A reduction in price may, on the surface, represent a saving, but ultimately becomes a cost elsewhere. At what price are you compromising your own hearing and your quality of life? There are businesses in the marketplace throughout Australia that have begun dispensing hearing aids at cheaper prices, offering you a lower unit cost to entice you through the door. But let's look at what that might entail and what some of the pitfalls may be for you. An independent audiology clinic is owner operated. It is owned and managed by an audiologist, an expert in the field, and is not owned by a hearing aid manufacturer, nor part of a large hearing aid retail chain. A customer who sees an independent audiologist receives that continuity of care, which means that when you return to the clinic, you'll be seen by the same audiologist for your ongoing appointments and hearing aid care. By being owner operated, our best interests are the patient. We wanna make sure that the patient is looked after and we're providing a thorough professional service at all times. I spoke to a few of my friends and one of them recommended Audiologic Hearing. Um, I sat around and thought about that for a little bit and I thought, no, I've got to do it. Michelle is the owner of the business, very, very confident with her. She's just very caring, listens to all my needs. Very important to be able to hear properly and Michelle took all of that in um, and uh, I'm, I've been completely happy. Unfortunately, in Australia, there is no regulation over who can own a hearing aid clinic and how many hearing aid clinics you can own. So we do find that we have the majority of hearing aid clinics not owned by audiologists who are the experts in the field and instead are owned by a hearing aid manufacturer or non-audiology professionals such as business entrepreneurs, accountants, lawyers, etc. Approximately 80% of the audiology businesses in Australia are not owned by an audiologist and therefore are not independent. A hearing aid is a medical device and should not be treated as an off-the-shelf product. It is a device which needs to be fitted correctly by experts in the field fitted, adjusted, serviced and maintained over time so that you receive the maximum benefit out of your devices. Studies have shown that part of a successful hearing aid fitting is the service and the ongoing support that you receive from the audiologist. This is because a hearing aid needs to be fine-tuned and serviced and the correct counselling needs to be given to the patient so they know how to use their hearing aid, they know how to maintain it, and they have realistic expectations over time. Also, your hearing loss will slowly deteriorate over time due to age, and therefore the hearing aid also needs to be adjusted over time. Your lifestyle may change, your communication goals and needs may change over time, and this needs to be discussed with the audiologist, so we can program the hearing aid differently to suit your lifestyle and your needs. Often I see patients who have relocated to my clinic and they have not received the correct advice and support with their hearing aids. And therefore their hearing aids may not be giving them the maximum benefit that they should be receiving. Unfortunately, with many of these patients, the hearing aids are not being used correctly and they are often left in their bedside drawer, which ends up being a very expensive purchase. There are audiologists and audiometrists in Australia. An audiometrist has completed a course at TAFE and then is learning in the field. 
whereas an audiologist has postgraduate university qualifications with a minimum of a master's degree in clinical audiology. Most of the hearing aid retail chains are owned by a hearing aid manufacturer. So the patient may not be offered a choice in the hearing aid brand, which best meets their needs. You may also not receive continuity of care as the same clinician may not be able to see that patient over and over again. And remember that a hearing aid is an ongoing process. You do need to return for appointments for the lifetime of the hearing aids. And I called into one of the chains um, on the main street to make an appointment and went back and saw, um, thinking I was going to see the same clinician. And what really upset me was, I saw somebody completely different. She had different advice uh, to the clinician I spoke with. It's a big expense and I want to feel comfortable that I'm going back to see the same person and we can have an ongoing relationship and feel confident that they're recommending the, the right hearing aid for me. And also, I'm not just spending a lot of money that is unnecessary. Clinicians who receive commission based on hearing aid sales may not be putting the patient's best interest first and this can present a conflict of interest and is unethical. In my clinic, with all my new patients, we will discuss their hearing loss, their hearing loss shape, degree, type of hearing loss, communication goals, lifestyle, any personal preferences and budget. And together, a hearing aid will be selected based on these factors. A patient who may have a very active lifestyle, may still be working or attending meetings, living with others, socially active, may receive benefit from a hearing aid that has some more advanced technology. Whereas another patient who may be living alone, retired, doesn't really participate in any group situations, mainly listening to the TV and one-to-one -one situations, may not require the advanced technology that is available and their lifestyle may benefit from a hearing aid that is a lower end of technology. One thing I really um, appreciated about audiologic hearing was the fact that Michelle um, recommended the hearing aids that she thought were specifically for me. I was going on her guidance and she showed me a range and, and I told her what my needs were that was important to me too, knowing that she was really thinking about my needs and my budget. I would like to leave you with a few points to consider if you are looking at purchasing a hearing aid for yourself or someone else, such as looking for an independent audiologist, owner operated, that's gonna provide you with that continuity of care and independent advice. Looking for an audiologist who has postgraduate qualifications that are experts in the field. And it's important that you feel comfortable with your audiologist and build a rapport because a hearing aid is not an off the shelf product. It's a medical device that needs to be serviced, adjusted and repaired over time so that you receive the maximum benefit out of it for the lifetime of the hearing aid. Thank you for joining us. Please like, and subscribe to give your support to the channel and hit the bell icon too, so that you don't miss out on the next new video. Audiologic, premium hearing care.